Telecommunication is also known as telecom and it can be defined as the exchange of information over significant distances by electronic means. A complete signal of a telecommunication circuit consists of two stations, the sender and the receiver. Each station is equipped with a transmitter and a receiver respectively. In our screen definition, we can see that telecommunication is a long distance communication using electromagnetic methods. It encompasses other words that use tele as prefix. And the first one is telephone. Telephone means voicing at a distance. Television. Television is about viewing at a distance. And there is also telegraph, which is texting at a distance. The other terms like teleconference means conferencing at a distance. Telecommunications can also be defined as the transfer of information by electronic means, usually over a long distance. Under data communication, we can first understand what we mean by the term data. Data can be numbers, characters, presented in any form for a particular use. Data communication is the exchange of data items through electromagnetic methods, usually over a long distance. The data items we are talking about in this case are the numbers or characters which are presented in any format for a particular use. But when you interpret that those numbers or characters, you will ideally get text, images, video, and etc. as a kind of interpretation out of the data that is being presented in that particular form. In our definition here, we have it that data communications are the exchange of data between two devices via some form of transmission medium such as wire or cable. The image before us is describing a communication system. A communication system is made up of a number of equipment and the first equipment is the tangible equipment known as hardware communication system and under the hardware communication system we have computer systems, the modems, the terminals, and the cables. And the other item is software communication system. Under software communication systems, we have any software that can be used to send and receive messages, or any software that can be used to organize a message for sending or any software that can be used to send and receive a message. Communication signals are into two, the analog signals and the digital signals. If you can look at our image, the digital signals are presented on the upper bar and they are represented in zeros and ones. And for them, it is interpreted as digital signals. And the analog signals are at the lower bar, which are in a a waveform and those waveforms are understood as analog signals. In our communication we talked about modem as one of the hardware equipment of a communication system. A modem is a combination of two terms, modulation and the other term is demodulation. Modulation is the process of adding the information signal onto the carrier signal for purposes of sending it from one place to another. Whereas demodulation is the process of separating the information signal from the carrier signal for purposes of interpreting it by the receiver. A modem is a device that converts data or information or messages from one type of signal to another type of signal for purposes of communicating it over a communication channel. So, channels can either be wireless or physical. Physical communication channels can be fiber optic cables, ethernet cables, or telephone line.
communication cables. Computer communication. Computer communication is two-way. It can happen through telecommunications or it can happen through networks. Let us first discuss computer communication through telecommunications. In telecommunication, there is a term known as circuit establishment. Under telecommunication, before you send the message or you start transmitting the message, a small phase that is known as circuit creation should first take place. And that is commonly known as circuit switching. Circuit switching is the establishment of a link through a telephone system. For example, when you pick your phone, you will press the number plus 256-772-90-34-66. You will press call and it will take a few seconds. And after a few seconds, the phone will start ringing. When the phone starts ringing, it means the circuit is created. And when that circuit is created, until the receiver picks or answers the phone call, there is no message that is supposed to run through the link. Until the other receiver communicates, hello, then exchange of messages can take place. That is why we call it establishment of a link through a telecommunication system. So two computers establishing a link through a telecommunication system is known as telecommunication. And that phenomenon sits on a term known as circuit switching or circuit creation. Circuit creation is the process when no message can be transmitted before the receiver is ready to acknowledge. For example, mobile cellular phone communication. Mobile cellular communication works on circuit establishment, which is known as establishing a link. Our second topic is networks. Computer communications can also happen with networks. Under networks, computers are directly linked together by a high-speed cable or a wireless connection, and messages can be sent from one computer to another. And there, there is no special circuit establishment. Through networks, linking computers directly together by high-speed cables or wireless connections can allow computers to communicate. And that's when we send emails. The receiver does not need to have his computer on for an email to be received. Uh, other types of messages, you don't need to have the receiver's communication system on for a message to be received. You can receive it anytime, anywhere, without your computer on, or when your computer is on. Examples of the cables we are meaning here are Ethernet cables or fiber optic cables. Information superhighway. An example of information superhighway is internet. The blending of computers and communication systems has made it possible for telephone companies to expand from traditional voice communication into a new information service link. For example, internet, TV programs, online or internet news services, video conferencing services, data services, and social media activities. Telecommunication system. A telecommunication system is a combination of compatible hardware and software intended to communicate data items or information from one location to another. Telecommunication systems can transmit voice, text, graphic data, or images. Telecommunication system components. In a telecommunication system, the main components include the computer. And in this case, a computer is a set of devices for signal preparation or message preparation. Terminals. Terminals 
are input output systems connecting to channels channels these are links either in form of wireless links or physical links and they are used to convey the messages from one system to another for example telephone lines ethernet cables and fiber optic cables the processor the processor is an equipment for signal processing a processor is a device that accepts instructions from the memory and then processes them according to the memory requests or the user request communication software communication software is a software aiding communication for purposes of sending and receiving messages from one point to another uh, the functions of the communication system after having understood the communication components we can now easily realize the functions the functions of a telecommunication system include transmission the other is interfacing routing processing editing conversion and control what is transmission it's a medium used to broadcast spread it's a medium used to broadcast spread transmit send signals from one sender to another the interface it's just a prof it's just a platform that allows the establishment of signals for sending and receiving it's just a given environment which the person intending to send a message can use and the person intending to receive a message can use to be able to interpret the message for example the computer screen or the software that is used to enable data to be interpreted or read by the end user or the sender the communication systems also do routing routing is about choosing the best path and the router is a device that determines the best path or the best route for the message that is being transmitted or for the message in transmission processing it is a device that listens to the user commands and works on the messages accordingly editing it is the platform for verifying the message for corrections or editing and thereafter arrange it for sending conversion it's a system that manages which type of speed the channel needs so that it can convert the channel capacity it's also a system that can convert from one type of data representation to another type of data representation for example if the data is in analog it can convert it to digital if it is required to be transmitted in digital and if the data is in uh, analog and it requires to be transmitted in digital then it can convert it from one state to another and then finally control telecommunication systems control how messages are transported by routing which receiver to receive the message and also the network maintenance so controlling is about regulating the transmission and the transmitted signals now let us have a look at the properties of transmission basically we have them in five the first property is the signal type before you transmit you should understand whether the signal is in digital format or wave format then the other property is the speed which is needed for the signal to be transmitted the other type of property is the data movement type is your data going to move in one direction or you will need one direction at a time or simultaneously the channel data movement type can also be understood as duplexing half duplex or simultaneous half duplex means what an infrastructure that can allow only and only to send there is no way you can receive for example tv stations only and only send there is no way you can sit before your tv station and expect to respond with what is broadcasted that is why it is known as duplex one way you will only and only listen or view or watch your television station but you cannot reply what about two way 
but one at a time. It means you can send and then wait to respond. Then what about two way but simultaneously? It means you can both talk at the same time. For example, mobile phones, we can talk simultaneously. Radio calls, we can talk one way at a time. Hello? Over. Then the other replies. Then you saw presses over. That is communication that happens two way, but one person speaks at it uh, at a time. Then the other property is the method used to transport the data. How are you going to transport the data? Are you going to ask the channel or the system to carry the data all at a time? Or the system is going to divide the data into portions and it is sent one portion at a time. Now, these two formats, the first one is known as synchronous. Synchronous is the transmission of data in a whole. And asynchronous is the transmission of data in bits. So the data is gotten and divided into smaller portions and then sent one at a time. But each message that is sent has the source and the destination address. Source and destination address. But when you come to synchronous, the whole data is sent at a go. Now, all those properties must be considered before messages are transmitted. The last one is signal channel. So, the channel would be either in single channel mode, which is known as baseband, or multi-channel mode. Now, multi-channel mode is known as broadband transmission. So, that is also a property that one should consider before transmitting a signal. Is your communication system based on single channel mode or your communication system is based on multi-channel mode? All those are important factors or important properties of transmission. Digital and analog. Analog signals are signals that exist in a wave form in cycles. These are signals that have the following attributes. Amplitude and wavelength. Positive and negative. Then digital signals. Digital signals, these are signals that exist in zeros and ones. It's also another type of data representation. You can represent your data either in digital or data can be represented in analog. Digital means bits and bytes, zeros and ones, data representation. And analog means pulses of varying amplitude, also known as continuous waves, types of signals. As we have seen, signals do exist only and only in two types. One is analog and the other is a digital. Like you can see in that image representation, Analog signals exist in a wave form and digital signals exist in discrete form. Signals can be analog or digital. Analog signals can have an infinite number of values in a range and digital signals can have only a limited number of values. Data transmission. Data transmission exists with equipment. So we can ideally set data transmission equipment where we have that data can be transmitted mainly in two ways, in serial or parallel form. Serial transmission means that data is sent or transmitted over a single communication path at a time. And this is an example would be Kowakizo cable. And parallel data transmission is where data is transmitted over more than one transmission path. For example, optical fiber. Optical fiber cables are hair-like threads that can transmit data in form of light. Data transmission modes. Transmission modes are understood as asynchronous or synchronous, that like we have discussed before. Asynchronous transmission is where data is transmitted one character 
at a time where each character is sent with the source and destination address. So, asynchronous is sending data when it's divided into smaller bits. And synchronous is the sending of data as a whole without dividing it into smaller, smaller bits. Then, transmission directions. We have seen these two in the properties and now we are seeing it, we are seeing them in terms of their technological existence. Transmission direction, the first one is simplex, which is known as duplex. Simplex is where you can receive a message and you can't respond at all through the same channel. For example, television systems and radio broadcasting systems. Half duplex will allow communication two way, but one at a time. There is no way the channel can support the sender and receiver at the same time. For example, radio calls. And then full duplex is a system that allows simultaneous communication. For example, mobile phones. We can talk at the same time at any point. Or telephones. Communication channel. A communication channel is a link formed between the communication system transmitter and the other communication systems receiver. A transmitter is aimed at sending and the receiver is aimed at receiving. But currently, our systems like mobile phones have both the transmitter and receiver combined and that one becomes another term known as a transceiver. A transceiver is a system that can send and receive at the same time. Because of developments in technology, all our current systems now have transceivers. A transceiver is a combination of two items, a transmitter and a receiver. So, in a communication channel, at one side, we have a transmitter and the other side we have a receiver. The communication channel can also be understood as a link found between the sender communication system transmitter and the other receiver communication system receiver. A communication channel is a link for conveying messages between two communication systems. A communication channel is a link for conveying messages between two communication systems. Communication systems are of two types. There is wireless communication system and a wired communication system. The wireless communication system is known as the unguided and a physical wired communication system is known as a guided. Characteristics of a communication channel. Under characteristics of a communication channel, we have the transmission speed. And this speed is measured in bits per second, also known as baud rate. Then bandwidth. Bandwidth is measured in hertz. And it is the amount of data that can be carried by the channel with a given frequency. And bandwidth is measured in hertz. Types of guides. Under types of guides, we are now going to talk about the physical guides, under which we understand the twisted pair cable, which are also known as 
the copper wires most times used for simple communication and the STP is an example of coaxial cable which is the shielded twisted pair and we also have the UTP which is an example of ethernet cable and it is known as the unshielded twisted pair then the other physical guide is the fiber optic cable which are the thin threads in the form of plastic and glass like they transmit data from one place to another through light waves because light is one of the most fastest mode of communication with almost 10 gbs per second optical fibers are made in a way that they can carry large amounts of data using light waves in their thin threads that are in glass like form like you can see the image of coaxial cable and uh, it is under category shielded twisted pair and its speed is between 56 kbs to 200 mbs and it's normally used in LAN networks and televisions then fiber optic as I told you it's the fastest form of transmission and it runs from 500 kbps to 10 gigabytes it can transmit data at any distance expected and it can transmit data in very large amounts unlike any other cable so that is a representation representation of a fiber optic cable very thin well shielded and protected but remember those fiber optic cables transmit data in form of light wireless communication systems wireless connections are understood as the non-physical links between two communication systems the first communication system is the sender communication system and the receiver communication system it is a non-physical link that carries information from the sender transmitter to the receiver of the receiving gadget through electromagnetic waves the normally so-called free air so the common types of wireless connections include infrared radio frequencies and microwave radio frequencies are short waves and medium waves under uhf and vhf or short waves and medium waves and uhf and vhf then we have infrared infrared is an application of wireless connections that normally we apply it in remote controls used in wireless keyboards and wireless mouse uh, like you can see in the image you have our keyboard that is wireless and we can use it on our computers without a physical cable but using a technology known as infrared infrared normally works in a line of sight line of sight we are meaning the shall, there shouldn't be any obstructing uh, physical boundaries like walls and houses so for an infrared system to work it should be in clear line of sight you should directly position the, the, the keyboard 
before the computer or you should directly position the, the you should directly position the the remote into the TV set but if there is any parameter like a wall then it can be difficult for infrared systems to work properly like microphones uh, printers and keyboards that are working on infrared systems we have another wireless connection known as bluetooth and bluetooth is a short range radio communication frequency for voice and data transfer bluetooth can also be used in typical LAN networks where we can have a wireless computer a wireless uh, printer and we can share messages wirelessly without physical cables and normally it is bluetooth that is giving us that type of environment bluetooth will enable users to connect to wide ranges of computing and telecommunication devices without the need to connect cables for example we can connect laptops headsets uh, notebooks pads and our desktop computers without having cables plus printers Another wireless connection is a radio frequency. A radio frequency is, a, is at a speed of 20 kilohertz to around 300 gigahertz. And a radio normally means waves at a slow speed. And the waves at a slow speed are the waves that are between 20 kilohertz and 300 gigahertz. And those waves normally have low energy. So the lower the speed of a wave, the lower the amount of energy carried. That's why we saw in fiber optic, the waves are too fast and they can carry huge amounts of data. But here in radio waves, the waves are slow and they can carry low amounts of data. Radio frequency can function even though there is no clear line of sight. That's why you can see you are down the hill and you can still communicate when the antenna is booster is very far that's when you can see in the villages we can listen and watch tv stations when you don't see any antenna around so normally radio frequencies are commonly used in fm that is known as frequency modulation radios and vhf which is very high frequency tv stations so what do we mean by very high frequency TV stations? This means that under the category of radio waves, there is a bit at which those waves are slow and there is a bit at which those waves are a bit faster. So the level at which they are a bit faster, we can use them for television and the level at which they are slower, we can use them for radio broadcasting. We should look at wireless transmission media now. And under wireless transmission media, we have broadcast radio. Broadcast radio distributes signals through the air over a long distance. And it normally uses antennas that are connected to the systems. Broadcast radio work under short range frequencies or short distances. And they are typically for stationary locations. For example, used in homes, but not when we are in move. Broadcast radio example would be television sets and radio systems that we use for listening to voice broadcasts at home. Another type of wireless transmission is cellular radio. Cellular radio is a, is a type of hexagonal cell distribution made on land for broadcasting services, but mainly aimed at serving mobile activities. Cellular radio works with high frequency waves and transmits voice and data. Cellular radio also enables frequency reels, which means that when one ends using the frequency, for example, the call is done or the voice communication has ended, Another person at a different station can use the same frequency. Wireless connections under microwaves. Microwaves are services that are at a very high speed 
and can only work in a clear line of sight like it can be shown in the image below microwaves work under satellite communication and they can carry data at very long distances microwaves provide radio waves at a high speed transmission and they are under a phenomenon known as point-to-point -point communication which requires a clear line of sight that is why they are normally used in satellite communication there is a high volume of long distance point-to-point -point transmission where high frequency radio signals are transmitted through the atmosphere from one transmission station to another and their speed is between 256 kbps to 100 kbps as illustrated in the diagram wireless technology under WiMAX the wireless technology under WiMAX is understood as a technology that allows telecommunication services aiming to provide wireless data and communication services over a long distance in a variety of ways from point to point to full cellular mobile access. WiMAX is a worldwide interoperability for microwave access. WiMAX, worldwide interoperability for microwave access and it is normally used in scenarios of metropolitan area network wi-fi wi-fi is a short-range wireless service that can be used in LAN connections local area network connections they are easy to access and quick to connect safe to access on corporate networks wireless technologies and a broadband broadband transmission enables the transmission of voice data and video over high frequency radio signals public and private institution users regard it as an enabling technology and it has become a given requirement for delivering communication services in information in the information age in today's market where traditional cable or copper infrastructure are either outdated or simply out of reach broadband wireless access technology fills the gap it is cost effective provides high highly efficient and cost effective access services and very affordable in terms of installations and maintenance